like this that has long hair that has these features um to play in this music video and people started tagging me in the post but i didn't really i didn't really see this post until somebody dm'd it to me oh, okay right so when they dm'd it to me i dm'd i dm'd the management i'm like yo you know i, I got it all you know what I mean? right <laughs> um but the funny thing about that is she didn't even like the management the manager didn't even see that i dm'd her uh-huh but then she dm'd me like not even paying attention to what i said like you know uh -huh. what I'm saying? So she didn't even notice that. She didn't even saw my what I said. So when I was asked, and she told me what to wear, what the scene was going to be like, and then I was like, okay, well, let me know. Let me let me look into the situation because I I didn't watch YouTube. I didn't right. know. And what's funny about that too? Queen Queen had hit me up way before, mm -hmm. but I didn't see this DM. So uh -huh. I, so basically, she thought I ignored her. Okay, she you know asked you up before to ask you to play it. Play way, it way before. Oh, okay. Way back, yeah. But I never saw the DMs. When the manager reached out, I was like, oh, shit, this is dope. They're like, yo, we want to bring you to New York. We want we want, mm -hmm. we want you to be in this. So I was just like, Dang, I mean, I can't say no to this. I'm, hey, right. I'm out. Mm -hmm. Did you <laughs> receive, I guess, talk to me a little bit about um, any kind of backlash that you received for playing that role or... What kind of praise did you get for playing that role? Did you get some of both, like the backlash and the praise? Like, what did you receive more of for doing that? Um, I definitely received more love mm -hmm. from from doing it, not only because you know, bro, Queen's fans are mm -hmm. diehard fans. Absolutely. So when I was in this video, they they just automatically just stopped because I went from like seventy k before the video to uh -huh. straight like four four hundred k just up after that video dropped. So they've always showed me love, but you know, there's always the people that rock with the other side. Exactly. And I only get backlash because there's a lot of rumors going around that I dated, <laughs> I dated this man's exes. Okay. I, yeah, I've never yeah. dated any of the exes. <laughs> right. But you know, and sometimes there's a confusion that um, I something happened between my ex. That's why we didn't, you know, that I hit her. Okay. But I'm like, hey. That ain't that ain't me. You know what I'm uh -oh. saying? That ain't not me. I ain't do none of that. Uh -huh. but yeah, but I I got most of it. I got love, man. I truly. Hold on, you're sounding. There we go. No, you're good. Yeah, I truly appreciate it. But I I mostly got love. But I did get fired from going to that music video, though. Tell us about that. <laughs> what do you mean you got fired? So they hit me up. They're like, "Yo, we need you this weekend." So I'm t I I told my boss, "Listen." I can't make it this weekend. And I guess they needed me because it was busy. It was like during like, I think it was like during like a certain holiday. So a lot of, it was like right before Christmas, I think. So they're like, bro, what you mean? Like, we need you. I'm like, right. they need me too. And I'm gonna go there. <laughs> so, but my manager ended up um, saying, all right, go ahead, do your thing. So when I went, while I'm there, I'm shooting, all of a sudden they're like, the 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 boss the boss of the, yeah. the the person that owns the whole spot was like hey bro we don't need you anymore um you didn't let us know that you wasn't coming to work i'm like what also oh, they hit you with the go they, ahead and clock out like they said go ahead and clock right out. right so but i guess the manager the manager instead of like defending me like yo i let him do that mm -hmm. she didn't say nothing so they just autumn they just fired me on the spot i was wow. like I was like, hey, it was worth it, though. We're going to get another yeah. job. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> and that was like a blessing in disguise, if you, if you right. look at it that way. Oh, no, for sure. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's, 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 so, you know, like, being that you have a relationship uh, with Queen, you know, as other, you, she's another YouTuber, um, do you ever find yourself getting inspired by other YouTubers like DDG, Queen, um, who else is making music on there? People who have had, like, successful music careers after being YouTubers. Do you, see, do you kind of get inspired by their stories? Um, yeah, definitely Queen. You know, I like I like the whole DDG movement, the way, yeah. like, he, he going up right now. And right. his music is dope as hell. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? There's a little confusion out there that I have something to us, but nah, bro, like. Really? MB yeah, there's definitely a confusion out there. But just to clear all that, because I, I, this is the thing about me. I don't clear anything. I don't have to explain anything. But, mm -hmm. you know, since this is a real, you know what I mean? I'm going yeah. to have it. Um, there's nothing between me and the man, bro. Like, I remember being in a room. I came to the, I went to this party with Chark, 
and um, he happened to be there. He showed up. Yeah. So it's not like we like, oh, what's good, bro? It's not none of that because, you know, what the people made it. But there was a time that he was talking to everybody about YouTube. Like, yo, y'all need to do this, 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 this. I'm in the corner. I'm looking at my phone, but I'm listening the whole time right. because he giving games. So why would not take that? Right. So I love So it looked room, like you weren't bro. listening pretty much. It kind of looked like I wasn't listening, but then after a while, I put my phone down and I, I looked, I kept looking at him. I'm like, bro, thank you. You know what I'm saying? Right, he's right. He was literally giving game like crazy that not everybody has. And he's up there already. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So if somebody's talking how to do things on YouTube, how to move, what? Of course, I'm going to listen. Right. Well, I'm glad you cleared that up because I had no idea. D Rock, you don't seem like the type of guy that would be in drama. You don't, but hey, hey I, I try to stay far away from it. But you know, that's the thing. Like when when you got a little, when you got following on Instagram, people always trying to mix shit up and talk about this. But like, I ain't never in that. I'm Absolutely. always trying to get my shit together. I, I love that. I love that. So right. I guess before we get into your song, uh, to your song, because I know everybody wants to hear this so bad. Being that, um, you know, you're on YouTube, you do pranks, you do vlogs, you do all kinds of stuff on YouTube, right? right? How do you, how are you going to make it so that people take you serious as an artist? Like, what, what do you feel like you have to do to make people take you serious as a music artist outside of YouTube? Um, bro, honestly, just, you know, tell, tell, tell the truth in the music. I feel like when, when somebody's faking, mm -hmm. you can feel it. You, Absolutely. you, 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 you can feel when somebody's just doing this for fun. Mm -hmm. And that's not what it is for me. It is fun, but it's real feelings. It's real things that mm -hmm. done happen in my life. Because everybody has this this perception that, you know, I was I was raised. I was. He probably has following because he's cute. But mm -hmm. now, like I lived, I, you know what I mean. I lived in rough, in a really rough neighborhood. Yeah. My my brother's in jail doing twenty five to life, and wow. this is real sh shit that I'm putting into the music. So. Mm -hmm. I really, I, it just got to be real. Like, people going to feel that. And that's what it is. Absolutely. I feel like they're going to feel that for sure. I love that you said that because, um, like you said, sometimes we don't even know what people are going through. We just, like you said, say, they might see you and say, oh, he's cute. So I'm just going to follow. They don't care about nothing you got to say or, you know, any music you got to make. But right. I feel like it's not really that you have a proof. You have to prove a point to them. But right. I feel like people will get the picture once they actually hear what you have to say and hear you. Oh, no, I, sure. I love what I heard so far. So are y'all ready to get into this? Hey, We're man, gonna get to and I was it's gonna the first... ask you if you could introduce your song "Arenas" in Cape Verdean. If you could say it in another language, if you could do that for us, that Sing would be dope. Or just "Arenas." Um, "Arenas." That's the one you sent me, right? "Arenas." Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. you can go ahead so, and use it. "Arenas" is a umuska punti belansa. They call the "Arenas." "Arenas" significa um unstad. Stad is right. So yeah. That's <laughs> dope. Let's get into arenas right now, y'all. And y'all know how we do this in show and tell. If you guys like what you hear, I want to see the emojis dropping. I want to see the comments because I'm going to pin the best comment. So I need to see what y'all saying about this. Are y'all ready? Let's get into arenas. Let's go. First time. <laughs> Here we go. Let me turn it up for y'all so y'all can hear this. And D-Rex, let me know if you can hear it good. All right, sure. This is a vibe, y'all. Y'all can get about your seat and dance to this. Y'all can vibe with this. Like, it's a vibe. Trying to make it to the league, yeah. 
Corona thing, it's kind of it's kind of hard, but um, the video idea I had behind it was to have an LED wall. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you have you watched that Pop Smoke. There's, there's like this Pop Smoke video that he's okay. performing, okay. and you see a bunch of phones in the air. I probably have seen it. Yes, yeah, so, like picture right now. So, I'm gonna look it up right after this. Right. So the LED wall is. I would be facing the LED wall, but the way they would take the video, it would look like I'm performing, and all you would see is cell phones. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But that was definitely, that's that's one of the ideas, but, you know, we working on more, and I got people that I'm working with okay. also, so we're going to figure it out. I'm so, going to tell you what I see. When I hear this song, I see you going back to Kate Bird. Kate Bird. Mm -hmm. Is that, am I saying it right? Kate Birdie or Kate Bird? Kate, Kate and Bird. I see you just showing lots of, like, B-roll scenes of, like, the people, the land, the way it looks, the beauty of it. Mm -hmm. That's what I see. This song is giving me those type of vibes, like very island vibes, very, you know, raw gorilla yeah. footage, like all that stuff. That's what I see. That's dope. I'm serious. That's, I had to do that. <laughs> that's dope. That's dope. I love that too. Absolutely. Like, that's just my idea. I'm putting it out there because that song's dope. Definitely dope. Talk to me about the creative process behind it. Like when you were writing it, if you had help writing um, the studio session, the production, what was that whole process like for you making this one? Um, So I think this... So I had met my manager like three weeks before. Yeah. And he was actually, um, he's actually Savvy's manager. So mm -hmm. I met through, through my friend Sav. Okay. And, you know, it came to a point that I'm like, yo, I didn't even, I didn't even ask him like, yo, bring me to the studio. It was like, bro, yeah. how much would you charge if I want to come in here and create? And mm -hmm. I showed him, a, I showed him a different song. He was like, yo, you're dope. I ain't never heard this before. Uh huh. So he was like, yo, just come in. So he said, we're going to get we gonna get you a day that you're just going to come in the studio. We're going to see what, how 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 you do this. So mm -hmm. he brought the producer. It was the first time working with the producer. So that was, that was the first song we did. And I was going through some things because my brother had called me from jail. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that day, I was just in a, my, my vibe wasn't really, I wasn't hype. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. that's how that, that came about. Like, damn, like, I got to make it to the top. Right. So that's really what it was. Um, oh, the day before I was supposed to record, I wasn't feeling it because I was feeling down. Mm -hmm. So I wrote, I wrote the, I wrote the chorus. And then I kept writing it, and I showed my manager. He's like, "Oh, that sounds fire, arenas." Mm -hmm. Okay. So the next day I came and I laid it down, and they were like, "Damn," because the song is very short. It's straight to the point. Right. You know what I'm saying the, yeah. the verses aren't long. The second verse is like two lines. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that was really, it was really just a feeling. It wasn't really writing it down, trying to be the hardest. Yeah. Lyricist. It was just a feeling, how I was feeling at the moment. Mm -hmm. Speaking to my brother on the phone, talking to my mom. She was going through a few things. So that's that. That's how that came about. It was, mm -hmm. a, it was a feeling. Definitely. Sure. And um, you kind of answered the question I was going to ask you next about the concept behind the song. But if you listen to the lyrics, like you're definitely talking about things that you've been through. Um, right. You know, probably what was on your mind at the time. Um, right. how did you decide to make this song your single? Is this going to be your first, like, single that you drop? This is my first single that I dropped mm -hmm. because it gives you, it, it doesn't give you too much. Yeah. But it doesn't give you too little. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, we, we're, we're all dreamers. We're, Absolutely. We're all, we're all trying to make it to the league. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Even if you, you're not playing sports, but you want to make it somewhere. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? So, it just, it. 
it tells you what I'm really about. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm 